in this video, I would like to talk about uh, making inference when comparing two data set. Uh, so this is the data, or this is the stats. I've got the stats. I've got the da uh, dot plot, sorry, box and whisker, and the dot plot of two data set. So the data is about the ring finger length of boys and girls. So you always start with the question. The question is, I wonder if but off if if the ring finger length of year 12 males from census at school 2009 data set tends to be longer than the ring finger length of year 12 females so you're comparing males and females and you're taking the measurement of the ring finger now this is for males the median is 80 upper quartile is 85 and so on and this is for male sorry this is for females so this is an informal, informal conference interval. So here, the, this is the upper quartile, this is the lower quartile, this is interquartile range, which is upper quartile minus lower quartile. This is the min, this is the maximum, so this is the range. The range is maximum minus minimum. Inference con informal conference interval is calculated using this formula, which is median, median uh, plus or minus. 1.5 times interquartile range over square root of n, where n is the number of data set. So the number of data set that was collected was 30. So you, you can use a calculator, and this is your informal conference interval. Now, what does this mean? This means that it's very likely for male finger lengths to be the median uh, finger length of males uh, population to be between 77.3 and 82.7. So you took a sample. Based on the sample, you can make uh, a claim uh, that the population of males of year 12 males is the, the ring finger length would be between 77.3 millimeters to 82.7. Same way you can do for females and this is what you are concluding that for the population of female the median finger ring finger length of females of year 12 would be between 71.5 millimeters and 77.5 now i hope you know so this is a scale from 50 to 110 here you can see the lowest value for when you're comparing the lowest is 60 for female. No, the lowest is 50. Let me change color. The lowest for uh, ring finger length is 54. Okay, so this is the lowest for male and female. And uh, the highest is, this is 110, so the highest is 110. So you've drawn a scale from 50 to 110. So this is your lowest value. This is lower quartile, median, upper quartile, maximum same way for males okay now this is a dot plot for this is for females and this is for females now this is the stats this is the box and whisker this is your informal conference interval this is the informal conference interval for females and this is for males okay now based on this we want to say we want to answer this question whether the males have greater uh, uh, ring finger length. So you can start with an hypothesis and say, I think male would have longer fi uh, ring finger length because they tend to be longer. Males are longer than females. That's a hypothesis. Now, you can't rest on your hypo hypothesis until you prove it with your stats. So that can be a hypothesis. You can say, well, uh, boys who are year 12 boys who are around 16 or 17 years old are longer uh, than females or higher than females so their ring finger length can be longer that can be assumption and this is your stats and now you need to talk about a conclusion now based on these stats uh, and these graphs let us see what is what is visible okay so let me let us talk about let us see what is the median shift so let us write the facts that we can see the median shift 
is the difference between the two medians. Now you're comparing two data. So for males, for males the median is 80 and for females it is 74.5. So the median shift or the difference between the medians is 70 minus, sorry, 80 minus 74.5, which is 5.5 millimeters. Now the big question is whether this is a big or significant or insignificant difference okay so this is an absolute this is a number now the big question is whether this difference is big enough to make the claim it would be foolish to say well this is a big difference and so males have higher ring finger length than females that would be too premature so now the big question is is this big enough to make the claim that males have longer finger length. Now for that you have to do some other calculations. Now let us look at the informal conference interval for males. Okay, this is for, yeah, the males have this, this is male and this is female. Now for male it is, so let us talk about females. For the females it is between 71.5 and 77.5 okay and for males I'll write 77.3 somewhere here it is 77.3 77.3 sorry this is 77.3 for males I'll write it here 77.3 282.7 now is there any overlap between the confidence interval of median for females and males you can very easily see there is almost no overlap, almost no overlap. That means there is nothing common between the males and female uh, finger length, okay, right finger length. Okay, this is 77.3. So this is one thing that I can observe that the conference interval of males starts at 77.3 which is where almost the females finish so this is 77.5 and this is 77.3 so you can see the average uh, ring finger length for males is is between 77.3 and 82.7 whereas for female the average or the median finger length is between right finger length is between 77 71.5 and 70 7.5 so this should make you will connect this and this okay so this is this is a median shift and this is the overlap of the informal conference interval so there is no overlap that's the second thing now let's look at the other th things that you can see now let me change color the median for male the median for male is how much? The median for male is 80. No, this is for female, sorry. The median for, this is female, I get, I'm getting confused. This is female and this is male. The median for female is 80. And what's the upper, what's the lower quartile for males? The lower quartiles for males, no, the this is the median for, oh, sorry, this is the median, sorry, yeah, I'm getting confused here. So the median for females is 74.5. This is 74.5, which is the median for females. And the lower quartiles of male, where is male? Yeah, the lower quartile for male is 75. So what is that telling you? The lower quartile for females is 70, sorry, for males is 75. And the median for females is 74.5 that means the lower quartile of males is almost the same as the median of females what does that mean so let me write that the lower quartile of male let me write m for male is almost the same as the median of female the median of female now this should what does this mean this implies now what the, what is the function of quartiles the median is halfway between the data 
So you can say this is 50% and this is 50%. The quartiles divide the data in, in four equal parts. So this is 25% and this is, so to the left of lower quartile, you've got 25%. And to the right of lower quartile, you've got 75%. So you can, can we say that 75% data of, fem of males is more than, more than what, 50% of females. So this is a very uh, good conclusion. You can say more than, more than 75% of males, right finger length, right finger length, more than 75% of, so we are talking about this part. We're talking about this part. This part is 75%. Okay, so this is 75%. And this is 50%. I hope you understand. This is 50% of females. And this is 75% of males. So what we're saying is, more than 75% of male ring finger is greater than the lower 50% of females. Is greater than greater than so let us not say lower or is more than 50 percent of females 50 percent of females so that is the second set 50 percent of females okay and finally we have to come look at this is called the median shift and let's look at the overall shift now overall shift so let me delete this. This is too much data here. Yeah? Now, the median shift we saw is 5.5. Now, what is the overall shift? The overall visible spread, that's called overall visible spread. This is, this is, we're talking only about the boxes. Okay, my line, I can draw a better line. So let me use the line tool. So, say so this is, look at this and look at this okay so this is called the visible spread this is called the visible spread this is the lower quartile for for females what's the lower quartile for females the lower quartile for female is 70 so that's very clear this is 70 for females and this is the upper quartile for males the upper quartile for males is 85 so this is called the o ovs i'll write in short OVS. OVS stands for overall visible spread, which is 15. Okay, and this is called, so let me draw a different, this, this distance, this distance is called the median shift. Let me show this again better. So this is called the median shift. So I'll write MS. This is called the MS, the median shift. The median shift, the MS, the median shift is how much? 5.5. The median shift is 5.5. And the overall vis visible spread is 15. Okay, now what's the ratio of that? So let me take the ratio of uh, median shift over, over overall visible spread, which is 5.5. 5.5 over 15. Okay, so I... I'll not use a calculator. You can use a call calculator. This is 555 over 150. So let me write this as a fraction. 55 over 150. So this is menu run. Menu 55 ABC 150. What's that fraction? That fraction is 11 out of 30. Okay, that is a rule which you now you need to remember. This is 11 out of 30. This is 11 out of 30. Okay. Now, 11 out of 30. Now, okay, so now this is a rule that we have to remember. If this is the rule of thumb, as a general rule, the rule is, uh, let me write the rule properly. The rule states like this. If, if the, median shift 
if the median shift if the median shift divided by overall visible spread is greater than one third is greater than one third then you can claim you can claim that the difference is significant enough I'm writing in short the difference is significant enough is significant enough to uh, claim back in the population claim back in the population now one thing that you should always remember when you're doing sampling that means in sampling what do we do we take a sample and based on the sample we have to go back and talk in the population now what does this mean in, in context of this question now you have taken a sample of 30 females and 30 males and then you're going to talk about the whole population of year 12 students who are males so there are two population one population is all year 12 students who are females and all year 12 students who are male you have just taken a sample of 30 and then you're going to make the claim now here this 11 out of 30 so let us come back to the our problem so 11 out of 30 is is greater than one third why how do i know because 11 out of 30 can you understand one third is same as 10 out of 30 okay so using logic 11 out of 30 is greater than one third and you got a sample of course uh, i forgot to write one condition here if your sample size if your sample size is around 30 if if your sample size is around 30 so there are two things you need to remember if this ratio between the median shift and overall shift is greater than one third if your sample size is around 30 then you can make the claim that the uh, shift or the difference between the median is big enough to make the claim back in the population so now we are saying well the median shift median shift over overall shift overall spread is 11 out of 30 which is greater than one third so we can say therefore or so we can make the claim we can make the claim that back in the population now you're going to talk about the now we have used the stats of the sample to talk about the population back in the population back in the population I'll write in short of year 12 year 12 uh, males have greater have greater ring finger ring finger length than uh, female so we are making this claim based on two facts okay so let me uh, give it you an overview so we started with your median shift okay the median shift is 5.5 so our question was whether this is a big enough shift to make the claim so we went to look at the the confidence interval the confidence interval for male and female from that we say well there is no overlap there is no overlap so this also gives you an indication that this is a big shift uh, this is a big enough shift to make the claim that boys tend to be tend to have longer right finger length ring finger length than females the second uh, uh, second thing that which made us make the judgment is the ratio between median shift and overall spread okay so this is the median shift and this is the overall spread which is 11 out, 11 out of 30 which is greater than one third and as you have got a sample size of 30 this is enough to make the claim 
that back in the population uh, of year 12 boys and girls, the boys have got a longer finger length than female. 